when conscience and values are aligned in my life, there's a huge amount of self-esteem that comes in. There are people who take things very personally. They're also affected like easily at the drop of a hat by happenings around them. So what's the reason and how can they not be so sensitive? I think most of us are pretty fragile at the moment. <laughs> I think it's because we haven't given time to nurture the self within mm. and build up our muscles of resilience. I've given way to waste thoughts, negative thinking, and more importantly, negative thinking about the self. Mm. I have very low self-esteem. Then these are some of the factors that make us highly sensitive. And so then I react in a very negative way. And of course, it's a vicious circle that spins around. Right. Are there any ways that we can build up our self-esteem? Definitely. That's very much what the whole process of spirituality and meditation is about. Lack of self-esteem comes when I don't have faith in myself, when I'm not following the inner voice of my conscience. My conscience is saying one thing, but I'm doing something else. And the third big factor is addictions. Addictions. Okay. When I've let myself get into bad habits. So if I can sort out these three and faith in myself, let me spend time in silence, in meditation, connecting with the highest that is within me. Mm. There is truth, there is goodness, there is beauty. All of this is within my own inner world. Can I spend time just experiencing that? and recognizing that. And then I have to match up my conscience and my values. And so let me get in touch with my inner core values so that there isn't a struggle and I'm not just following my feelings and emotions, but I'm following my own innermost values, the truth, the goodness, and I'm connecting them with my conscience. And so when conscience and values are aligned in my life, there's a huge amount of self-esteem that comes in. And the power that I get from the divine is the power with which I'm able to overcome habits that are not so good. You also mentioned about uh, waste. Many times we are like on a roll. We just go one after another after another. What is a powerful technique to put a stop to that? To create a discipline for myself so that every morning I spend time in silence, looking at myself, emerging the goodness, but also feeding my mind something very positive with spiritual material that's uplifting, that's going to be of benefit for me, that's filled with truth, something that's going to be my compass through the rest of the day. Then that's more likely to keep me on track. And at the end of the day, an audit for the self. How did I do today? Okay. And what can I change for tomorrow? If we have something positive that we have filled ourselves with in the morning, we have something to fall back on. Absolutely. I'm thinking about nonsense. And now if I ask myself, what did I read this morning? And something very beautiful will pop in and I'll reflect on that. Mm. And so that cycle of negative thinking is stopped. Stop.